actual issuation of shares to the public via a stock exchange because majorly in, in India, Bombay Stock Exchange and National Stock Exchange we are finding. After market, it is a crucial component of the financial market where the previously issued security such as a stock, a bond, a, a derivative uh, brought and sold between the investor. So the price of the security in the secondary market are determined by the force of supply and demand. Hello everyone, a warm welcome to one and all. I am Natesh, lecturer in commerce, Vidyashram First Grade College, Mysu, the temple of excellence. We are in the unit 3, session 2, fifth semester BCom, financial institution and market. And the chapter name is primary market and secondary market. And today my agenda, you will get uh, more clarity about the method of plotting new issues, uh, public issue and offer for sales, uh, right issue, private placement uh, and the meaning and meaning of secondary market and the functions, what are the functions, important functions carried on uh, secondary market, the players in the stock market, merits of secondary market and demerits of secondary market. So moving forward, uh, the first one, the method of floating a new issue because the company whenever they are issuing a shares, uh, so they want to follow certain methods. So here the first one, decisions to raise the capital. So if any company want to start or uh, going for acquisition or merger, okay, or joint venture, so they need a uh, finance support. So using a shares, so they are raising a fund. That is a decisions of a company or individual company are taking a decisions. And next one, selecting the type of security, which type of security like a uh, common stock or preference stock or bond. So they want to decide. Okay. And next one, understand the regulatory requirement. So in, if you're talking related to Security Exchange Board of India, what guidelines? Uh, okay. So they, they, they want to individual company want to follow the uh, something requirement and hiring investment bank. So now there is uh, when you are raising a fund with the help of uh, instruments security market so obviously you need to select an investment bank okay next one setting a offer offering terms okay we need to set some uh, something like a kind of terms and condition and next one register the offering you need to register when you're offering a uh, individual security to the investor you need to go for register and next to roadshow and marketing and the pricing and allocation are very important to decide what the face value and next one closing the offering so for example the, the 30 days if they are giving time to for the investor okay the shareholders when they are going for investing so there is opening date as well as closing data and next one leasing and trading okay of course here listed company uh, which is going under the listing okay and uh, trading okay here there are major primary trade and secondary trade we are finding and the post uh, issuations of completion after issuing uh, you need to get and uh, use a proceed what kind of proceeds they are following and ongoing invest uh, investors uh, retail relations and monitoring and adjusting and redeem bonds okay in case of government bonds uh, okay the company whenever they are raising with the help of bonds moving forward next one public issue or ipo initial public offer okay because the company at the time of uh, uh, issuing the shares to the investor of course they are, they want to follow because we can find out there are different types of company a uh, listed or unlisted company they are offering they are giving an offer to the investor and IPO involves several steps. So there are different types of steps are followed when you are raising a fund with the help of instruments, security. The company typically hire investment bank. This is actually with the help of a digital platform. Okay, D, a DMAT account only. The investors are ready to go for investing. The individual, uh, which company are selected, which bank. Okay. So also known as underwriters. Underwriters here nothing but actually uh, now they are not waiting for individual investor. The underwriter they are purchasing in bulk quantity. Okay, to help facilitating offer. Okay, because the company want to finance support. So obviously they with the help of underwriter they are uh, doing the transaction. So the process include uh, due diligence uh, and financial audit uh, and drafting of prospect. Uh, so the detailed information before issuing to the public, uh, your what condition, terms and condition, uh, what is the face value, what lot size, everything is uh, which is completely printed in the uh, prospectus. The detailed document describing company and its uh, financial, okay, the complete uh, uh, the road shows to generate investor interest because you need to create awareness that's what actually you are doing for road show here yeah? 
and the actual issuation of shares to the public via a stock exchange because majorly we in, in India, Bombay Stock Exchange and National Stock Exchange we are finding. And moving forward, next one, offer for sales. Here, how you are raising a fund, the, there is buying and selling. So obviously, offer is going for sale. In an offer for sale, existing shareholders decided to sell their share to the public, which is always there for the liquidity position because uh, after purchasing, if you don't want to, uh, the, uh, you are expecting a profit immediately, you can sell. Uh, so that is actually offered to the sales, uh, which is coming under the secondary market. Uh, this process is less complex when the IPO. IPO uh, at the time of uh, first time uh, when you are going for primary market uh, using a IPO concept. But in case of secondary market, the sales uh, buying and selling uh, in between. Uh, okay, So uh, as an investor, you can sell your instrument what you are holding. It does not involve creating a new shares or raising a fresh capital to the company. It often occur uh, uh, co coordination with the IPO can conduct through independently which is completely different moving forward next one the right issue okay so the, there is a, something like uh, when you are issuing a so the right issue allow existing shareholders existing shareholders uh, to the purchase additional shares in the proportions to their existing holding of uh, discounted price uh, because uh, the most of the company when they are expecting a share from uh, expecting a uh, share money okay so the obviously individual company they want to declare the dividend so instead of uh, declaring a dividend uh, they are giving for additional shares uh, for the existing shareholders which is not applicable for the new shareholders okay the company issue new shares for the purpose the shareholders have the choice to exercise their uh, right or sell uh, them to others. Okay, even the company are purchasing buybacking buyback policy, which is actually after issuing a share, so the company can also purchase, which is one options are given by individual company. Moving next one, private placement. So here the name only suggesting here in a private placement, the company directly negotiation. Uh, and sell security to the uh, selected group of investors okay which is not completely for individual so the selected group only high level income group or employees uh, okay or management or substitute company selected such as uh, institutional investor because they are running they are not called for individual investor they are institutional investor they are they are keen interested to go for investing venture capitalist uh, and private uh, equity firm okay so this is only focusing for the uh, selected group huh? so the process is typically more flexible and uh, less time consuming than the public offering public offering means actually you need to go for open opening a date uh, closing date uh, prospect printing there are too many processes are involved in the ipo but in case of uh, when you are issuing a, uh, for the public or a selected group okay the procedures are very less compared the time consumptions are very low and next one meaning of secondary market so whatever which is studied uh, uh, primary market now we are getting more clarity about the secondary market which is always for the after issuing the first time okay now which is going for the in between the seller uh, in between the investors and the institution or company uh, the secondary market also known as the after market after market it is a crucial component of the financial market where the previously issue security such as a stock a bond a derivative uh, brought and sold between the investor okay if you if you are holding one week or intraday uh, trade or a delivery date time okay so e easily we can go for selling next one functions of the secondary market what major functions where we can find out here which is first one uh, liquidity provision so whenever you need finance uh, immediately you can sell uh, okay so which is always going for the liquidity provision the secondary market provide liquidity to the investor uh, by allowing them to buy and sell, sell security for at any time only for working hours okay they can sell uh. Next one, price discovery. We can uh, identify what face value is going on, what is the market price value. Okay, So the price of the security in the secondary market are determined by the force of supply and demand. So obviously market price uh, which is um, keep on moving for fluctuating. right? So yeah. the next one, di uh, risk diversification. Investor can use the secondary market to diversify their portfolio by buying and selling various type of security like a common stock or equity and preference share or bond okay so they they can completely they, they can reduce their risk next one capital formation now the company want to raise a fund because of expansion because of acquisition because of merger okay joint venture 
So here the formation is very easy. The capital formation by making it uh, more attractive to the investor to buy security in the primary market, knowing uh, they can later them to the sale secondary market uh, if needed. Okay, so obviously capital formation, if they want to uh, raise extra fund, they want to get approval from the SEBI. Next one, exit strategy. Easily you can exit from this uh, secondary market. If you are not keeping, you are not holding the uh, security, whatever you have. So the secondary market offer investors to exit strategy easily they can go for sale. Uh, if that want to sell their investment or exit particular position, okay, so they can uh, do so without waiting for the security to maturity. Till the maturity date you don't want to wait. If you don't want to hold immediately you can go for the sale. Next one, who are the players in the second uh, stock market? The first one investor everywhere it is uh, investors are because of the financial product when you are offering so you need to identify who is investor either individual or institutional okay so investor is a secondary market uh, include a broad spectrum of individuals and institution individual person even the private placement of uh, institutions and can also be investor and next to uh, a stock exchange here the major uh, uh, there are two stock exchange bombay stock exchange national stock exchange uh, the stock exchange provide the infrastructure for the trading security because they are providing a platform to do the trading so they create rules and regulation facilitate the uh, matching of buying and other order and maintain order book so because unless if you are not fixing any uh, conditions or policy or strategy so you cannot run your business so obviously we need to follow the security exchange okay rules and regulation and brokers and uh, uh, dealer uh, very very important directly as an individual you cannot you don't have any access to go for direct investing using the broker and dealers only we can go for investing brokers act as an intermediary who execute the trade on behalf of their client okay or client or investor a connecting buyer and seller dealers uh, other uh, in other words buyer sell security from their own inventory which can be add liquidity to the market because uh, with the help of uh, intermediators only we are trying to go for investing or collecting a money okay so next one market makers so they they are the decisions maker they are the decider of the price market makers are entitled to the court bid and ask price for the specific uh, security uh, now the market makers they are uh, consulting or contacting with the company to the, the deciding the price of the security they facilitate trading by providing the liquidity and narrowing the uh, spread between the buying and sell okay so the price uh, decisions maker will be market maker next one uh, regulator obviously regulations is very important uh, because the security exchange board of uh, under the guidelines of regulatory body the government agency like a sebi which is uh, regulated and oversee the secondary market to ensure the market uh, uh, integrity investor protection adherence of security law because uh, there are too many uh, guidelines given to uh, followed by the company moving forward next one merits of security secondary market uh, okay uh, here the what what merits of secondary ma stock market there are different types of uh, uh, lot of benefits you are getting here one is the liquidity okay so always whenever you don't want to uh, hold immediately you can sell immediately you can expect the cash huh? So the secondary stock market offer investor liquidity, uh, enable them to easy buy and sell stock without uh, significant affecting of their price. Okay, for example, the individual investor they purchase hundred rupees of face value. Now, if if it is uh, after two one week the price uh, price are increase or decrease. If it is increase, the investors are going for getting a profit. Okay, so next one price the discovery we can monitor the price. Uh, okay, using an online platform. Uh, this market uh, facilitate price discovery determine the fair market value of security just now i told uh, 100 rupees face value if it is increase 120 20 rupees so uh, we are getting a margin next one transparency whatever it is there uh, uh, we uh, the complete uh, informations are transparent this transparency allow investors to access reliable data for decisions making. So we, uh, whenever it is a transparency we are finding, easily we can take, uh, uh, choose the right uh, uh, security or stock. 
Now, next one, capital formations are very easy because you are raising a fund in case of joint stock company, either private or public limited or government limit. Okay, so the company can raise additional capital through the secondary market by issuing a more shares of stock exchange. Then also they want to get a permission from the SEBI. Next one, risk mitigation. So we are not uh, investing 10 lakhs. Uh, we are not investing complete investment. We are selecting a denominations like a shares. The secondary market enable diversification helping investors to spread uh, uh, various risk of uh, asset. Next one, investment opportunity. As a, as a individual, uh, if they have any saving part, they are trying to go for generating a revenue, which is nothing but the investment. Uh, okay, you have a complete freedom to choose any company. A broad range of investment opportunities available in the secondary market allowing investors to choose the stock uh, aligned with the uh, risk tolerance and the investment goal okay so instead of uh, uh, going for investing in the specific asset called a property uh, at the same time they are going for the financial in investments like a share market Next one, the demerits. Obviously, where there is an advantage, there are few disadvantages we are finding. The first one, demerits of a secondary stock market. The first one, volatility, which is not constant price or fix. So we cannot uh, uh, fix. We, we cannot give a guarantee of 100%. So that short, which is keep on volatile. So the secondary market can be highly volatile uh, uh, with the price of uh, stock fluctuating rapidly in the in response of various factors, uh, various factors like uh, demand, uh, sales, uh, okay, uh, financial position. So now including economical news, uh, company performance and investor sentiment. So there are too many factors are connected for the price is not constant because of something like factors are influencing. Next one, market uh, manipulations. Market manipulation in less regulated or uh, less liquidity secondary market, there is a risk of uh, market manipulation. You need to go for something, changes are going on. Next one, limited regulatory oversight. Uh, the secondary market to the regulatory is uh, limited, okay, compared to the primary market. Not all the secondary market are subject to the same level of regulatory oversight and enforceable. There are different uh, rules and act, uh, uh, rules and regulations are different. Next one, high transaction. I transaction cost. When you are raising a capital through the security market, uh, the cost of the issuations are very high compared to other instruments. The trading stock in the secondary market can be expensive due to the brokerage fees. You need to uh, give brokerage commissions okay, or underwriting commission. So there are printing pro prospectors, so the cost of printing of uh, prospectors or application and the tax uh, and other transaction cost. Next one, liquidity risk. Obviously, liquidity risk, uh, we can find why it is means actually when the price is going high, then we are trying to go for uh, profit. When the price is going for low, obviously, we are losing our investment money. So, the some stock or secondary market may suffer from the uh, low trading value, okay, which, uh, which can be lead to the liquidity risk, uh, risk. Last one, risk of loss. Obviously, nobody is given 100% guarantee, which is completely depending on the market condition. So the price of the shares will be decreasing. In case of decrease, uh, we are facing a loss. So investing in the secondary stock market uh, always carry them the risk of uh, losing the invested capital what you are invested because completely which is decided by the market. Thank you. Keep on watch for next section. Thank you.